What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here. Uh, so excited to be back teaching lessons. This is my new YouTube channel, and I really appreciate you subscribing, leaving comments, liking the videos, all that stuff. I'm going to break down this amazing opening solo right now for you guys. Uh, you know, one of the most classic solos of all time. And it's not too difficult, so I think we'll have a lot of fun doing it. So we're going to zoom in and break it down. I can't wait to show it to you. So uh, hang tight, and here we go! All right, the solo. So it goes. You know, that's the little lead off to the solo. So that's the first phrase. One more time. And so what happens is. We're going to use our middle finger on the second fret of the G, pick it and slide it up to the fourth fret of the G. And then our index finger goes to the third fret of the B. Just like that. One more time. And then ring finger is going to go to the fifth of the B. Middle finger on the fourth now of the G. Third of the B with the index. Put that together. One more time, even slower. Now I'm doing a finger switch. I'm going to put my ring finger now on the fourth fret of the G. And I'm going to have my index on the second fret behind it because I'm going to do a pull off like that with one pick on the G I'm pulling off the fourth second so let's put that together open D I'm slow. So the next thing I'm sliding, and I'm going to use my middle finger again, slide from the first to the second fret on the A with one pick. It's just a slide into the second fret on the A string. And then two times on the open D. One more time. So this is a classic lick that happens in a lot of the old Motown R&B kind of stuff. Uh, they're double stops. And we're going to use, I'm using my index finger, and I'm covering the third fret of the B in high E. And I'm sliding it from the third to the fifth. And then back to the third again. Then middle finger on the second fret of the G and ring finger on the third fret of the B, same move. But those two strings now. So you've got. And then open G and B. So we've got. Then we go back to that same move. Put it all together. New thing. So it kind of slides up, pulls off, and then hits it again. Here's that second phrase.
So now we go into this thing. It's very similar as the first one, but the rhythm is a little different. So we're sliding from the 2 to the 4 on the G. And then I'm going back, so I'm hitting the 3rd of the B and then right back to the 4th of the G. And then 5th on the B, so... Then we're going to bend it up a half step before we pick it. It's called a pre-bend. And we let it relax, and then we go to the third of the B. Fourth on the G, and I'm using my middle finger, and then I slide it back. Just like that. And then I added another phrase there. So check it out. So I'm middle finger back to the fourth of the G, and I'm gonna try and bend that up a half step. It's a tricky bend. You gotta bend, you know, it's, it's gonna take some strength. And as I bend that, I go to the third. Fifth on the B, third, fifth. Here it is again. So we go bend, three, five, and a little bend again. And then I slide it back to the second fret. One more time, that whole phrase. The next phrase starts the same way, but this time it's not a pre bend, you hear it bend up. on that four again dun, dun, to two. Here it is again, the whole second half. Starts again. One more lick. And I'm bringing my ring finger now to the to the uh, fourth fret of the G, and I'm a little half step bend back, release to the second of the G, and then right into that G. So the whole second half. solo. Second half. Just do it one more time, super slow for you, right at the end of the video. Here we go.
All right, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thanks so much for hanging out with me again. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. Leave comments about what lessons you want to learn and anything else. Like the video. All the support is really appreciated. I've also got links down there for you to check out. Uh, anyway, thanks again, and I can't wait to see you in another lesson real soon. Take care.